The government's 20,000 online scholarship program, which has been taken across the country, has also reached residents along the east coast of Demerara Corridor, including those in Pleasance, Boxton, Stratsfee, Fryslus, Monrepo, Ansgrove, Cane Grove, Supply, Annadale, and Lusignan, among others. Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Honorable Mahabir Anil Nandlal, along with several other ministers, have embarked on a mission to encourage persons to take advantage of this golden opportunity. The Attorney General said education is the greatest investment a government can make in its people. As Guyana continues to develop at a rapid pace, he noted that Guyanese must prepare themselves to take advantage of the opportunities that will come their way. People from foreign lands will come here to seek jobs, to invest, to make money. And unless you are educated and equipped to compete, you will be left behind. We are passing laws to protect our population in the face of that type of competition. The AG noted that as the world continues to advance, there has been an increased need for a skilled and educated workforce. Persons with limited or no educational background, he said, would find it difficult to compete in this environment. There is no space anymore at the top on the stage of success for uneducated people. That is the cold hard reality. And the quicker we accept that, the better equipped we will become to meet the competition. And it is against that backdrop that this program was conceived. 29-year-old Mr. Intias Karim is immensely grateful for the opportunity. Having been raised in a single-parent household, he was forced to seek work from an early age, thereby abandoning his hopes of furthering his studies. He believes this initiative will assist him in achieving that goal. I have started my career in 2009 as an accountant and from there on I have given opportunity from both private and the government sector to work and to further my study at a certain level. Here I want to complete my study and further it more further with the assistance of this government. Minister of Labour Honorable Joseph Hamilton has been spearheading some of the goal outreaches as well. As he travels across the country urging Guyanese to take advantage of the opportunity, the minister has noted that new industries in Guyana will bring new demands for new skills and citizens must prepare themselves. As you look through the schedule of programs that Goal has, you would recognize that there are some unique and distinct type of training programs. That is so because the normal run-of-the-mill programs is not rapid contributory factors to development of societies. Ms. Radha Kaulasar and Mr. Fazal Khan believe that a chance for higher education will come in handy in improving their everyday lives. It will improve my knowledge and it will help me to care more for the children in my community. Today's program, I am very much impressed and of the generosity of our president because back in the days, we never had the opportunity to get such a program. We had to find millions and today, it's worth it all to see that um, our youths can benefit so much. Minister of Tourism, Industry and Commerce, Honorable Onij Waldron, said the government is working on expanding and improving the country's tourism sector. With this in mind, several internationally branded hotels are scheduled to open their doors in Guyana. She noted that many of the programs included in the scholarships initiative are geared towards training Guyanese to take advantage of the careers that will open in the tourism and hospitality sectors. We have to be certified and qualified and we no longer want to hear and we have decided as a government that we're not going to hear the excuse that we don't have human capacity. We don't have the capacity here to meet the job demands of our operations, whatever they may be. In oil and gas, I speak for the hotel because that is what I have direct purview over. But we don't want to hear that 
you can't hire a chef from a Guyanese chef. You gotta bring a, guy, a chef in from from overseas because our chefs are not trained. Minister Waldron said the manufacturing sector will also be booming in a couple of years and will require its own set of skilled personnel. We are no longer just rudimentary workers and farmers. We are to be innovative. We are to, we are to display intellectual dexterity as industries change, as innovation change, as needs change. Your, our education and these programs provide a tool for which you can employ to adapt to the next thing. Citizens are coming on board and are registering for their preferred programs. Most have expressed their gratitude for the initiative and have been encouraging others to make the most of it. My encouragement to other young people is to go ahead. It gives you a new experience. You're being able to study with a different university besides within your country. It is an amazing opportunity. Um, I wish when I got out of high school there was something like this to look forward to. Um, I think that you know this will definitely give hope to a lot of people that don't have the um, support of their parents or don't have financial support to look forward to something coming out of high school instead of just having to go straight into the workforce. It's online. That's the thing. You can do it at your home, in your convenience, in whatever time you can, right? So I think, I think it's something awesome. The initiative is being administered through the Guyana Online Academy of Learning and is a collaborative effort between the ministries of education and public service. It features over 100 programs from six internationally accredited universities. The program is open to all citizens and the deadline for applications is June 5, 2021.